What the president's announcing here is he's going to sign an executive order authorizing uh, the imposition of sanctions against current and former uh, officials of the government of Turkey and any persons, he says, who are contributing to Turkey's destabilizing act actions in northeast Syria. A couple of more economic elements to this, though. The president also saying the steel tariffs will be increased back to 50 percent, a level prior to reduction uh, back in May. And he says the United States will also immediately stop negotiations being led by the Department of Commerce with respect to a $100 billion trade deal with Turkey. It's a lengthy statement here that the president has just issued. He also says here the United States will aggressively use economic sanctions to target those who enable, facilitate, and finance those heinous acts in Syria. I'm fully prepared to swiftly destroy Turkey's economy if Turkish leaders continue down this dangerous and destructive path. Wilford. Uh, I, I guess, guess, Eamon, the obvious, well, two questions are whether this is coming too late after what has already been a, a devastating week, and also whether it is the proportional response to what has been quite clearly military action. Yeah, look, I, I asked the president on Wednesday of last week about his conversation with Erdogan of Turkey on that Sunday uh, in which it was clear that the president made this decision. I asked the president ultimately what did Erdogan promise him? What did he promise Erdogan? The president simply said that Erdogan told him he wants to go in. He repeated that twice. He said, I want to go in. I want to go in. I asked the president if he okayed that. Did he authorize this incursion? The president didn't directly answer my question, uh, but he did say that Erdogan has wanted to invade this area of Syria for a long time. And the president at that time was clearly aware of the intense political and ethnic rivalries here. He said this hatred is comparable to the uh, Palestinians and the Israelis. Uh, this is a long-standing hatred, the president said. He, so he was fully aware of the intensity of emotion around this and fully aware that Erdogan wanted to use military force here when he spoke to him a week ago Sunday. So uh, the, this, all of this would seem to have been relatively predictable by the president at the time he had that phone conversation. Now, though, we're seeing this economic sanctions response because the president is unhappy with just how far Erdogan has gone here. Uh, Eamon, uh, what about the response uh, so far in the course of the last week, not just uh, today, from traditional hawks in the Republican Party in the Senate who otherwise, for other reasons, so far have been some of the president's loudest supporters? Uh, are they sure. starting to, to voice their concern? Clearly, huge implications for some other uh, upcoming Senate votes that will be needed uh, by the president. Yeah, it's fascinating. You're seeing uh, folks like Lindsey Graham, otherwise one of the president's staunchest supporters, uh, signaling his opposition to the president's actions here, saying he's going to mobilize uh, whatever support he can for congressional sanctions uh, against Turkey. Uh, and all of this coming against this backdrop of impeachment uh, in which Democrats in the House seem like they're, they're willing to push forward with articles of impeachment. They're not there yet. Uh, but it seems like at some point, as you say, this is going to land uh, in the Senate chamber and the president's going to need some votes there. The expectation is he has all the votes that he needs. Uh, but he, by, by taking this action with Turkey and Syria, the president uh, has really rankled some of his staunchest supporters in the Senate who are uh, expressing vociferous objections to this uh, at a time when they're not expressing objections to the president's conduct regarding Ukraine, right? They're not upset visibly publicly about that. They are, though, very much about Turkey.